some hardwood scraps into the corners to give me some solid surfaces there. You'll see that later. But it's not hard, it's just careful and time consuming. And here I'm just taking out from the block of the neck that's going to be into the body the thickness of the top piece of plywood so it'll all sit nice and flush. I'm going to glue it all together right into that block and then there's no curves. So I just glued it all together, just plywood to plywood. I had those corners that I made out of the hardwood. And then things weren't perfect so I trimmed them up a little bit. It's a very difficult process but uh, doing something like this isn't too hard because it's all very flat and straight. Bridge just to make sure it would stay down nice and tight. Probably unnecessary. And I'll just work my way down the line of the cabinet. For wood fill, I'm using Bondo Auto Body Filler. I have a, an even overhang on one side. I'll remove one of the sticks and then apply pressure on that side. So now I'll remove the back stick. Well, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I, I really like this clean, modern look. Seven! Uh, about $32, and if you take into consideration glue and finish, uh, less than $40 for the entire table. Addition the mortise. It is an offset mortise, so we're going to come in from the side one quarter of an inch. This material thickness is one and one quarter of an inch, and it's going to have a half inch.
Today we're going to make a concrete lamp out of a cantaloupe. To glue the cantaloupe to the bottom of a bucket that's just a few inches in diameter bigger than the cantaloupe. To make the mold I'm going to mix together Mold Star 30. It's a two-part silicone product that works great for casting concrete. I cut the silicone a little bit to remove it. Mix in white for this lamp. I'm going to mix it a little bit more watery than normal uh, because I really want it to settle down into the mold. I'm just going to spoon the wet concrete into the mold lamp with a cord and socket set from colorcord.com. And I use zip ties to create a pinch point. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, homemade-modern.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make giant lightsabers. These concrete forms that are made of cardboard in place so I could spray paint them silver. And actually one can of spray paint was more than enough to cover both of those tubes. Now this is corrugated plastic roofing stuff that you can get at any Home Depot or any store like that to do, but I found that it was easier to get a straight line if you set the tube on a table and roll it as you add the tape. 2 by 4 down to 12 inches each. And then on the table saw I ripped those down into an inch and a half pieces. I also cut a scrap of MDF for each round and it actually is a lot more rigid than you would expect. Last thing is to plug them in. Now I'm finding the center of each 